you will learn how to configure FileZilla Pro to connect to Google Drive. Launch FileZilla Pro. First of all, you need to create a site entry for your Google Drive connection. Click New in the Site Manager dialog box to create a new connection. Select Google Drive as the protocol. Automatically, FileZilla Pro fills the host name. Enter your account email address in the text boxes. If everything is correct, you can now connect to your Google Drive. You will be redirected to Google to authorize FileZilla Pro to access your Google storage. Enter your Google credentials to continue. Now authorize FileZilla Pro to access Google Drive. If everything is correct, the connection continues without problems. You can close the browser window at this point. In the right side, you see your own files and directories under the My Drive folder. Also files and directories others shared with you under the Shared With Me folder. And finally, under Team Drives folder, you see the G Suite Team Drives your Google account belongs to. If you have the administrative rights, you will be able to add or remove Team Drives by creating or deleting directories under Team Drives folder. In this video, you learned how to connect to Google Drive with FileZilla Pro. In this tutorial, you will learn how to share your Google Drive files and directories with FileZilla and FileZilla Pro. Launch FileZilla Pro. Connect to your Google Drive site. Right-click the file or directory you want to share. You can also select several files and directories and share them all together. The Google Drive Share window pops up, showing the object owner and any existing sharing permissions. Click the plus button to add a new sharing permission. In the Grantee box, enter an email for either a user or a Google group, a domain name in case of a G Suite domain, or leave it blank for everyone. Select the role type of the permission, owner and to grant ownership rights, Organizer and File Organizer to allow the organization of files within a shared drive, Can Edit to make them editors, Can Comment to allow them to comment, and Can View to let them view only. You can add a custom message that will be included in the permission notification email. Custom messages can be used when granting permission to users or groups. The share links for each file and directory are shown in this box. You can select and copy to clipboard. You can remove an existing permission. The owner's permission cannot be removed though. Click OK to apply the changes. In this video, you learned how to share your Google Drive files and directories with FileZilla Pro. In this tutorial, you will learn how to download Google Documents with FileZilla Pro. Launch FileZilla Pro. Connect to your Google Drive site. You might need to authorize FileZilla Pro to access your Google Drive storage. Now you see your files on the right side. By default, Google Documents are downloaded as weblink files. You can choose to download them in another format. Supported formats are Microsoft Office, Open Document, PDF, or Text. FileZilla Pro downloads the selected documents in the chosen format. You can also set format defaults. The file is downloaded with the default format you set. FileZilla Pro is fast and reliable. Plus, it supports a variety of other cloud protocols. Amazon S3, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Storage, Google Drive, Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, OneDrive for Business, Amazon EC2, Backblaze B2, WebDAV, and SharePoint. Are your website files ready to go? Time to get your copy of FileZilla Pro. Go to FileZillaPro.com and buy it with confidence. See you at the next video of the FileZilla Pro series.